Hey, it's Joe, and today I'm going to be watching Star Wars Rebels Season 4, Episode 4, In the Name of the Rebellion, Part 2. I'm not a fan of Saul Guerrero, so I'm stressed about this episode, but I'm also excited. A reminder that, as always, you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance. Well, let's go. You essentially kidnapped them. Like, you saved them first, and then you kidnapped. So you just disobeyed orders by blowing up that relay. Following orders will only get you so far. Then you have to take control. We had a plan that would have, yes, left that relay in station, but would have meant that our rebel lives were safer because of it, because we could avoid Empire patrols and they wouldn't know about it. Blowing it up was easy. We could have done that in a heartbeat. It wasn't hard. It wasn't a big dangerous mission. The ghosts could have flown in, dropped some bombs and flown out again, but instead we did a far riskier thing for a far better reason. But they all led me to that cargo ship. So what do you want from us? You two and your droid are good at infiltrating Imperial... So, so why don't you bring this, if this is as vital a big mission as you're saying it is, bring this information to the rebe rest of the rebellion and get a big enough force with all of the best people rather than just three children you saved and then kidnapped. I, I say three children because I'm going Jorah's child because he's Hera's child. I mean, does this mission sound like a bad thing? No. Is it going to be because he's in charge? Most likely. You can help me do something that might actually matter. Keeping the rebellion splintered is gonna only bolster the Empire, so good job, Saw. Sorry, Chopper. You're outvoted. I'm with Chopper. Chopper is a good boy. Like, I don't I think we should take this information back to the rebellion and do something about it. With someone more reliable than Saw coming up with it. A lot of droids down there. Hey Chopper, come here. Oh. Well, I love that she happened to have yellow spray paint or whatever it, it is on her. <laughs> Poor Chopper. I mean, it's better than being painted in Imperial colours. Oh, is he embarrassed? I kind of like it better than the orange. Oh, baby, it's okay. You look very dashing. Oh, normal cargo hold. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. You hear that? It sounds like singing. I don't hear anything. Balls calling to him. Quality construction car. The ship is more than it seems. Mm -hmm. Find out where we're going. We're good if we had backup beyond his one ship. Thomas, Chopper says Cargo Bay 17 is a restricted area. So that's where we go next. What would we do without Chopper? Careful, or you'll alert the whole ship. Mm-hmm. You got a plan. I got a droid. What would we do without Chopper? <laughs> No problem. Oh no. Oh goodness. Prisoner. We're here to help. Who are you? There's a range of species, are they? We can free these people. My prisoners all over the galaxy. We can still help them, so. Yes, you you don't care? Why are you here? We can't put the civilians in the line of fire. Okay, how about the escape pods? We can sabotage the hyperdrive, and as soon as the freighter drops from hyperspace, they can fly away. Brilliant watchman. Chop, get them to the escape pods. We'll take out the hyperdrive. Follow Chopper. He's far more reliable than Saw. It's running headlong into everything. That's definitely the best way to do this mission. I'm gonna be critical of this man, yes, I am. Wait. What is he sensing? I mean, we found something they're guarding. You're a very kind little droid. <laughs> he is a kind little droid. <laughs> what? 3-6, I said take cover. <laughs> You're very stupid, aren't you? Maybe a special shiny black droid. Droid stormtrooper. No, it can't be. Yeah, it's a kyber crystal. Oh, fuck. Like the one in my life. Oh God! He wants us to get out. Yeah. 
Back to the hold? He's a good droid. But this is not a very good rescue. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very kind little droid. Just don't get on the wrong side of him. You stay here and guard this thing. We'll head to the engine room. Why are you leaving him alone? We do not trust this man alone. Three, two. Oh. Fucking hell! This is why you don't work with madmen. I've come too, and today I will. Sure, you're the only one that matters, and what you want is anything that matters. The power technician. Like, yeah, he has a point. The way he handles all of this. We have to ride this ship to the No guarantee anything will be there. Exactly. We know there is something. I don't know if it's there. They don't know. Oh wow, a ship. A star destroyer. The Empire's big secret isn't here. It has to be here. Why? Because you say so? Rides here. Are you coming? And leave the prisoners? And drop her? Ezra. What about doing what's right? Is uh -huh. what, what is the point of this war we're fighting exactly? Let me ask you this. What would you do to save your world? I lost everything. I get that you need therapy. You can see things clearly. Trying to just you understand punish others isn't the we way. You still have something because this is what I am willing to do. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. I mean, yes, we should try and stop the Empire getting these crystals. I can't imagine there are too many of them, but you've already seen them fail once before. Better get off this ship. Hands up. Yeah. Let us out of here. You fight your war, we'll fight our Exactly, Ezra's learning the truth the hard way. I don't! See ya! Move us in closer. We need to yes. secure it. Yes. Get nice and close. Call Hera and tell her we're in the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the guards. Just meet us. Now where are we going? <laughs> Awaiting your arrival. Think I'll go back to the container now. You want to blow? <laughs> what a kind little droid. This droid is crosswired. How dare you? Hmm. <laughs> I am who I am, and I will not apologize for it. I get that. That's maybe three more. They're trying to come into the shuttle. <laughs> good, 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 all aboard. Look, you said the Empire was going to have your head for losing the crystal anyway. You know, at least this is a quick way to go. Are you sure there wasn't time for hyperspace? Okay, well, we're one piece. I'm sweet home. Or maybe I'll go anywhere without blowing something up. <laughs> We've all decided to enlist in your cause. Aww. We figured if the Empire valued our skills, they'd be better. It's not for safe for them to just go home. Rebellion. I'm sure it's not safe for their families for at home. Payment. Thank you. Taking them home would be so dumb, they'd just be re-recruited. It's the second one we prevented the Empire from getting their hands on. Doesn't mean Saw's one-manned murder party is the way to go. Okay, so we have successfully delayed the Empire again by destroying yet another card crystal. They found two. How many more are there for them to find that are that big? Um, as always, Chopper was the highlight of this episode, as were Ezra and Sabine's teamwork skills and also their commitment to doing the right thing. You know, as much as Ezra sees some, and both of them to a degree, but Ezra in particular, sees merits in Saul's arguments and kind of is a bit, was a bit swayed and compelled by them and be frustrated at the sort of lack of movement from the other rebel rebels, <laughs> rebels, he also knows the right thing to do is to save the prisoners and they prove they were able to do both and if the prisoners had been able to come straight to Saw's ship we all would have made it out very easily but of course no Saw had to do it like the most selfish way possible um 
from being like, oh no, I've decided that these coordinates will be the weapon. Now, yes, I think going to the coordinates wasn't the worst idea he had ever had, but it's the way he's like, oh yeah, I brought you on this team because I value your skills. I'm also just going to like knock you out and like devalue you whenever I say so. I don't like the way Saw is fighting. The right thing for him to do would have been to send this information to Rebel Command. And okay, if it was time sensitive to be like, look, I need you to meet me at this place at this time or else I'm doing it alone. You know, try and include them in it because if you don't share this information with them they are not going to know it's happening and they're not going to know that that's a thing that there is a thing to stop um yes i think the rebellion is currently being a little bit too cautious after their first big setback but at the end of the day they value lives and they value making the galaxy a place to fight for not being like oh yeah we did beat the empire but we did also kill everybody so awkward um so I was really glad in this episode we did see both Ezra and Sabine really being like, so you're a piece of shit, we're doing things our way. Like, you may have a point, we don't agree with you. A subcultural chopper, a kind little droid, and that made my day. Um, we set the, um, gave the Empire a huge setback. We, I'm going to say a huge setback, it didn't take, it only shot them a few, I mean, how long does it take to find a giant cryper crystal? How many giant cryper crystals are there? I'm stressed. But yeah, this was a really good episode. I'm glad that there really wasn't particularly any dithering between um, Ezra and Sabine on whether or not they should join us or, or like not join him I never thought they would like join him but whether they should sort of f push to fight more the way he is fighting they held him to account the whole way through and then you know ultimately did the right thing and save lives and I absolutely love that a reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance the edited version one week in advance and thank you so much for watching